Yes, Richard. Only six. Only six. Mike? Seven. It sounds a bit coy, Mike, when he says, when he's one over, when he's one over, he's a bit coy. Uh, but uh, Richard, what's the sixth? Paltry. Oh, paltry. Well, indeed. P-A-L-T-R-Y. Well spotted. <laughs> that was a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> well done, lad. Um, now, Mike, what have you done with that lot? Uh, partial. Oh, partial. Yes, partial there <laughs> for the seven. Magnus? Well, we're not doing so well with our eights nowadays, are we? I no, we're not. No, I can't we're... find better than partial or airplay, you suggested. Yes, airplay is there for seven. It's the name of a song, apparently. Yes, ah, yes. the record's getting airplay on the radio. Oh, I yeah. see. Not when you fiddle with your toupee. That's not airplay. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. 56, 21, folks. Uh, two rounds to go in this half. Mike, letters, please. Uh, consonant, please. Thank you. M. And another one. D. And a third. And N. And a vowel, please. O. And another one. U. And another one. E. And a consonant. S. And another one. B. And finish with a consonant, please. And L. And the countdown is starting. Seven. Uh, Richard? Seven. Right, go to Mike seven. Bundles. Bundles? Yeah. Bundles, Richard. And for all my friends in my tennis club, doubles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all your friends in the bar. <laughs> doubles. That's after tennis. Of course it is. <laughs> doubles and, what is yours, bundles? Yeah. D doubles and bundles. Yeah. Very good. Yes. We've got a, a word bloused, which I, I must ask you to explain. Yes, it's the verb from the word blouse, and it means to make a garment hang in loose folds. I bloused my trousers over my boots. Not heard it myself recently, I have to say, but it's in the book. Yes, bloused. bloused. But it's still only seven. OK. Mm. Good. Well, stuck on seven there, but uh, well done. 63 and 28. Now, Richard, you're going to get uh, your chance to choose your numbers, please. I shall have one large and five small okay. for you, I Carol. I hope I pick nicer ones this time. Thank you, Richard. You both have nine and five, ten and ten. Oh, dear me. Nine and fifty. I've done it again, haven't I? Yuck. And a target of 696. Yeah, 696. Six nine six, Richard. Six nine five. One away. Good, Mike. No, seven hundred. Right. You can get this, Mike. Six, uh, uh, Richard. Six nine five. Um, fifty plus nine plus nine is sixty-eight. Fifty plus nine, yeah. Plus nine is sixty-eight. Times ten. Six eighty. Plus the other ten. Yeah. Plus five. Plus the five, which you haven't used, which is six hundred and ninety-five. Yes, he worked hard on these as Richard, and uh, he's got himself seven points there. So, well done, you. <laughs> you. Yes. Mm. Oh, it's six, nine, five, slightly different method. I did ten there, etc. But, um, no, not six, nine, six. Not doing well, am I, today? No, not. I must get more sleep over a weekend. You must. You know? I think that's what it is. Now. Uh, let's look at the tea time teaser. Uh, the second one. Um, the word, <laughs> the base word is rump fee. <laughs> well, it's not really a word. It's just a, just as a, a words, letters put together. Rump fee. But the nice uh, 
the nice answer to this is, well, frankly, it makes common sense. Countdown, sponsored by Kellogg's All Brand. Problem solved. Yes, uh, rump fee uh, is not the price of a steak in the ivy. Uh, it is, uh, of course, uh, perfume. 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 This makes common sense. S C E N C S. Rump fee. Okay, now, 63 and 35 when uh, we left off, and on we go now with Mike with the letters, please. Uh, consonant place. T. And another one. C. And another one. R. And a vowel, please. A. And another one. I. And a third. And O. And a consonant, please. S. And another one. T. And a vowel, please. And E. OK, we're starting off. Risk an eight. You're risking an eight. What are you going to do, Richard? Save seven. Save seven is? Raciest. Yes, raciest. Risky eight. I'll try toastier. <laughs> toastier. We're not it's happy toastier. yet. No, we're not, I'm afraid. Oh. Toasty, toasty is, in the, is in here as the adjective. Of or resembling toast. But you can't really see toastier. It isn't. That's, that toast is toastier than that toast. Well, it's just... You know. It's just much more like toast than that. See yeah. the way I make it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so he risked it anyhow, and it made, it made us all, it made us all it think. A, it was a good try. It was, it was a, a good try. try. We got one uh, on the sort of an, an analogy of, of mingier, scattier. Somebody's scatty, yeah. and therefore he's scattier. And that is there, yes. That's OK, isn't yes, it? Yes, scattier yeah. is there. Yeah, scattier. So, so we're back to our eight strike. OK. <laughs> scattier, therefore. OK, well, points there for you, Richard. Well done. So, 42-63, and uh, your turn. I'll start again with a consonant, please. N. A vowel. A. Consonant. P. Consonant. D. Vowel. E. Consonant. M. Consonant. G. Vowel. E. And I'll try another vowel. Please. And another vowel. Okay, Richard. A. Thank you. 